Hi, welcome back to Dirty Hole Gardening. Hopefully your summer's been well. Hopefully your garden did really well. Hopefully everybody's well at home. Uh, it is now the 11th of October and things are still looking good, but we've already had a frost. So I'm having all my friends come over today and we're gonna pull all of our pepper plants. It's an annual event and then we split them up. We take what they want, I donate the rest or I, you know, dry freeze whatever but um before we get to the peppers i wanted to i wanted to mention uh my popcorn this year did really well started out kind of slow i had it i tried a new variety this year and uh after i had it planted my ducks kept coming through and pulling up the young sprouts thinking it's grass and i come out and they like, man this looks great and all of a sudden come back and it's like a third's gone, so I finally had to put up a snow fence to keep them out. And then problems I've had in the past, you get to end of September and everything's looking good, and then all of a sudden you get the raccoons in here, which I don't really see many. I get a lot of skunks in my garden looking for uh, grubs, and they usually leave the plants alone, they go around them. It, I mean, you can see that, you know, they'll be out here all night digging for stuff. But so this year I said, I'm no more. I invested in a I spent about 200 bucks for a solar charger or a hot fence, and well, everything about, about right around 200 bucks, but you can reuse it, you can reuse the wire, um, and I've had it set up, and I've had one thing in here, the dogs have touched it, they don't like it. It, it, it's the lowest one you can get, like from dog size and down. So it's cocoons, like the, the ducks have touched it, they didn't like it, you know, the dogs are all scared. But as you can see, these are ready, and uh, this is popcorn I've had in the past. The Japanese white hollis. This is a uh, like white supreme, but I mean, I've got a lot of popcorn, and this one's actually getting there for the. Uh, it has to be a certain percentage of dryness before it will pop. But I mean, you can put them in onion bags, hang them, and then I. I came up with a tool to knock them off. We could rub it off with your hands, but you get a blister eventually. But uh, that's a pretty good looking your corn or popcorn. And I, you know, I really enjoy it. Everybody else does too, and it does taste better than said brands like Orville Redenbacher. So, you know, and you can see it's probably that's eight foot, probably ten foot tall. So it does well here, anyways. So you might want to give that a try. As I talked about in a previous video about these peppers, I, I know I had these little plants and these big wires, and I said, you know, they will fill them up, and they did. I mean, actually, these are a little shorter than normal, but they still look, I mean, they fill the whole depth up. We, we picked from either side of them, and um, did really well. We had a really hot summer. Uh, didn't have any rain in August, to speak of, a third of an inch, and that's really what slowed them down, but I, I was able to have enough water to water them from my rain barrel as I showed you earlier. But uh, the other day, I mean, I mean, we got an early frost this year and I do have some really big tarps. I also, uh, we have a above ground pool and I, as, as you know, those tarps are only good for a year or two, depending on what grade you buy. Save those, you guys, and make really good covers for your plants. But even though, even that said, this is what, even through the tarp, a plastic tarp, you can still get you know, some damage. Not a lot, but you know, I mean, that, that was a week ago we had our frost, so and it was a good one. It was down to 32. So, but today, uh, today I'm having all my friends and family come out and uh, it's a national uh, pepper picking day. It's where we all come out, we pull everything up, organize the carpets, the wires, all that stuff. And then we all get to you know, take what we want. And and then whatever I, as a guy at work I give it to, I donate stuff. So, and then, cause this works out, cause um, next weekend, um, I'm gonna be deer hunting. And on my birthday weekend, October 17th, National Dirty Ho Day. And I wanna get all this out of here. The, the tomatoes are still hanging in there, but people can pick those. But these things you wanna get taken care of, you know, dried, frozen, used up right away, and, and it's a, 
these late fall days, these peppers look just as good as they did earlier on. They may not the super hot, but all that, you know, all the sweet peppers and stuff. So, so that's it for now. this year and this is what's left after we've been picking all fall or all summer and fall so I mean we have a lot of drying freezing donating to do but this is nice this is not it's not a bad way to end the season so so I'm, I'm just grateful for my friends and family and once again thank you folks Stay Stay dirty, dirty, my, my friends, friends.